What's up guys, I'm Chris Doughty, aka Doughty Welcome back to the channel. In this video, I'm gonna teach you everything you need to know to be smashing out those goals for online time trial in Gran Turismo 7. You could be earning two million credits every single time you gold the time trial for each week it's released. And even if you can hit gold every single time, this video will help you to get even closer to those world record times and potentially put you in the top 100 or top 10 each week. This video is not going to be a specific lap guide for every week that comes out. A lot of other channels do that. Key25 has lap guides, uh, Mr. MCA has some fantastic lap guides. But what I'm going to do here is I'm going to teach you how to help yourself with all of the features that are included in Gran Turismo 7 to help yourself get faster. I'm going to teach you how to analyze the fast lap replays that you can rewatch. I'm going to teach you how to use the ghost to be able to follow a fast lap time to help yourself improve. I'm going to teach you how to use your own ghost to follow your own fastest lap time to improve your own pace. All of these tips and tricks will help you to knock chunks off of your lap time and get you safely inside that gold medal time. Getting straight into it now. So you can find it within sport mode. So go to sport mode from your menu. If your previous week was successful, you'll be granted with uh, the reward. My first go at Alsace in the uh, Escudo wasn't great. It still was a gold medal time, so that's all good. Two million credits has come my way. In this particular example on screen right now, it's the Fuji uh, Super Formula uh, time trial, which was a tricky one, um, but with my tips and tricks, it was able to get the gold medal time. So important to know, uh, check out how many days are remaining and then check out what the fastest lap is. Typically towards the end of the uh, entry period, the, the world record will be quite stable. So the times that you need to achieve will be quite stable as well. So uh, gold is within 3% of the world record, silver is within 5% and bronze is within 10% of the world record. You can choose your own car to use or you can choose a rental car. Um, but your car that you choose from your own garage, it has to comply with the regulations with regard to what tyres are installed. In this example here, my Super Formula car didn't have the correct tyres fitted. Um, BOP is applied, so whatever tuning you've got enabled is, is nullified, uh, but you do need the correct tyres. If you look at the global leaderboard, you'll see all of the lap times by every single driver in the world. You can scroll through them. And any uh, time that has a little uh, movie symbol next to it, that means at some point that was a top 10 time. Now, as other people beat times, you'll find times in the kind of 200s, 100s, uh, they still have the video there. So you can watch that video and you can uh, also load that video. In this example here, we're going to see what the fastest driver does. Uh, what I'm looking for here is to see what actually uh, they take. So what speed do they take the corners? What braking points might they have as reference points? Uh, and importantly, uh, what track do they drive? Because to be truly fast on any track, you need to really abuse the track limits. In this example here, I like to switch uh, all of the data on, watch the replay back from the camera that I normally drive from. And then this gives me the perspective uh, that they take so I can uh, work out all of the braking markers that I could use for myself uh, and also the lines they take. So in this example here I'm just going to re-watch their lap and try and work out some key things here. So look at their braking point, what might they use for their braking point and they got their brakes looks like just at the start of the kerb. Uh, they take quite a bit of kerb to the inside and they're quite aggressive on their downshifts. Um, this corner was very interesting for me. They take this corner flat out and it's a bit of a struggle. It's a real tight clipping point, real dangerous exit. Uh, in my own lap time, I couldn't do that, but I do know uh, that their potential to take it flat out. So I was able to take it quite aggressively. Again, using a lot of track, uh, a lot of track limits, track extension there. So that is all, all valid. Um, that might be something we can replicate in our own lap time. Let's look at the breaking point here, just about under the bridge and a huge cut on that corner there. So we know that that curb can be completely abused. And once again, over the curb quite heavily there uh, through this last series of corners, again, running the curbs, running the grass, uh, lots of track extensions we can see here. Finishing up the lap now, again, a continuous theme of track extension. And then out of the final corner, clip to the inside and a huge track extension, in the corner down the main straight to finish their lap. So we can see now that the track limits at Fuji are, are quite lax. So that was an example of what they've done. Now it's time to uh, take our turn. 
what I do first of all is set up the Ghost. The Ghost in Gran Turismo 7 or even Gran Turismo Sport is incredibly good. Now I go to Ghost settings and there are quite a few options in here where you can tune things for you. Uh, first of all, uh, you can load a d display a loaded Ghost or you can display a personal best Ghost. You can also reset the ghost position if they get too far ahead at a certain sector and then you can also set the offset of the ghost so that will they start a little bit ahead of you or will they start exactly in line with you. I find I tune this number quite a bit depending if I want to catch up to the ghost if the ghost is a bit slower or if the ghost is quite uh, much faster than me I'll set the ghost to be quite close to, to the starting point. Now this is where we want to load a ghost to follow. Now, as I said before, you can load the fastest ghost in the world as long as they've got a little uh, little movie symbol next to their name. You can choose one of the ghosts to, to be loaded. Now, what I'm going to do is scroll through and try and find a ghost that is a bit more representative of my own speed. I don't want to follow the world record ghost just straight away. Um, so scrolling through the list here, there are still plenty of ghosts there that have been in the top 10 previously. They have just shuffled down the order and we can still load those ones. Scrolling through the pages now, down to number 200 and something on the list. We do eventually find uh, someone who has a ghost. So this is the one we're going to follow. Uh, 1 minute 20.3 is their lap time. And I might be able to get somewhere near that. But certainly it's a lot more achievable than the fastest ghost in the world. And then we simply try and put that into practice. So the ghost is set, uh, I think it's 0.2 ahead. Uh, this is literally my very first attempt at this lap. I'm going to get on the brakes into turn one and braking where I think I should be. And clearly that is too deep on the brakes there. You can see by the ghost, you can see why I overshoot the corner. That just didn't work out for us at all. So uh, we're just going to keep trying again. Keep repeating the process. Find your flow on the track. Find your rhythm. Uh, and eventually you'll become faster and faster and faster. Not only can you have the loaded ghost displayed, but you can also have your personal best ghost loaded at the same time. Now, your personal best ghost is the ghost that is your fastest time within the qualifying session that you already have. And right now, you can actually see your own ghost overlaid with the ghost you've got loaded. And they can almost race each other to see whether you're faster or slower in different sections of the track. In here, uh, we can see we get into the corner faster than the loaded ghost, but they get a better corner exit. And we're just going to follow through this whole lap. So you can follow two ghosts at the same time, as long as it's your personal best ghost within, set in, within the session that you're running right now. And this is what we're going to be doing in our time trial in the Super Formula car. Uh, both ghosts I'm trying to do what the loaded ghost does rather than my personal best ghost and as you start to race these ghosts you get a feeling for where the ghost is fast where the ghost is slow and you can gauge your speed relative to them over and over again the, the qualifying time is very much a rinse and repeat process as you can see now versus my best lap time I'm much better through that section now a little bit too tight on that corner entry which is going to mean my own ghost is going to come back at me but we can see where we are faster and slower than either my own ghost or the loaded ghost. And using the ghost it is incredible, it is so good to do because it gives you that relative, and we're going to do the track extension a little bit like the world record ghost it did there. Using the ghost allows you to gauge against a, a moving target within the race. I'm going to come across the line and set a 20.455. And that was my time for that week. And then the next week, we go back to sport mode again. We get granted our award from our Super Formula time, which put me uh, 379th in the world. Two million credits. Thank you very much. That's pretty good for me. And then we just repeat the process again. Uh, I think the rain is stopping now. I did a massive downpour while I was doing a bit of uh, video commentary just then. So the audio quality should be back up to where it needs to be. So yeah, this time, uh, completely different car track combination. Uh, I'm doing this quite early, 13 days to go. Uh, but it's the Honda Civic around Trial Mountain. Exact same process I'm going to follow. Uh, I'm going to straight away check out the leaderboards, see what the fast times are. Uh, watch the fast times, see where they gain and lose time, see what kind of speeds they're using, see whether they're revving out the car or whether they're short shifting and see what kind of track limits they are abusing or respecting. And then always as the week goes on, keep an eye on the world record time, uh, keep an eye on the percentage and the benchmark time for the gold medal because these will adjust as the world record time gets faster 
the 3% difference time will also get faster, as will the 5%, as will the 10% difference time. So make sure you're still within the target zone as the week progresses. Keep a check on them gold times, keep a check on that world record time and make sure you're inside before the time trial ends. Different car, different track, exact same process. The ghost is loaded. In this example, I've set it 0.3 seconds ahead because I can fractionally catch this ghost and I want to get right into the back door of the ghost to finish the lap. So uh, yeah, the way the car works is so much more floaty. It's completely different driving style to the super formula, but following the ghost is exactly the same principle. I've done uh, a good couple of laps to get myself down into the way the car feels. And now I have the ghost to follow. I'm gonna just try and improve my lap time, try and follow what the ghost does and try and shave off time where I think I can make the improvements all the way through this lap time here in this Honda Civic. The car's very floaty, so I'm, I'm working the car quite dynamically on the brakes and on the steering, but each time just trying to follow that ghost and improve my line compared to what the ghost is doing. Or if the ghost is a very fast ghost, try my best to replicate what that ghost can do. Again here, exiting this corner, critical corner, as I um, go down this, this straight here, a huge amount of time spent on full throttle. When you're trying to get the final few percent out of your lap time if the ghost is quite a long way ahead of you there's no point continuing lap time just get it restarted or just focus on your next lap and use the remaining lap just to practice uh, but here we're on the brakes into the uh, long corner at the end of the, the the big straight and we are just catching that ghost that ghost i think is a um, a 12.3 uh, split so as long as we are nearby the ghost then we are all set you can see now uh, the ghost doesn't have a great corner there i knew that was going to happen we had a great corner ourselves and we hooked right into the back now so it's just a case of rounding out the lap time uh following the ghost through this final uh, sector again once again slightly better than the ghost and things are looking quite good to round out this lap time successfully and hopefully make an improvement in our uh, time trial time into the final braking zone here through the corner here we're looking really good actually just a bit too tight on corner entry it's going to compromise a bit on corner exit but we're still going to get a great drive out of here lose a bit of time to the ghost but it should still be a personal best time for us when you're on a good lap drive the shortest line to complete your lap that is all you need to do get the best time possible and we do go 0.05 seconds faster so not a great deal in improvement but we're already near the maximum that i can achieve i think so using the ghost here you can see how we are just constantly improving our time here. Now, looking like it's looking good, but we did a track limits error there, so that's not going to be good for us. So important things to do, when you're happy with one of your own times, exit and choose to save your replay. That way you can load your own time for when you come back into time trial. If you hit restart or start again, you won't be able to recover that ghost, so make sure you exit your session save the replay and you're all good and then in in the future when you come back to do the time trial you can choose the open option in the load ghost uh, menu here and that will be your loaded ghost um, when you choose load ghost you'll get to choose from all of the saved replays that you've made on this combination so here was the replay that i just saved um, and it's, here's every other checkmark replay that I've made during my time trial session. So right down to the 2 minutes 14 seconds and we're down to 2 minutes 12.58 there. So that's loaded the ghost. Uh, then we just change the offset. So in this example, it's my own ghost, but it's quite a fast one. So I want to follow it very, very closely. So I want to go 0 0.2 seconds behind. Depending what view you use, you want to adjust that offset. Find out whatever works best for you. But here right now, that car ahead is my best lap time. So if I can uh, continue driving, catching up the ghost, you can see a little bit wild, but we are close. We can eventually get to beating our own ghost time. Not only can you use ghosts in the Gran Turismo online time trial, you can use it in sport mode daily races time trial. You can pick a top 10 ghost from there, load it and use the exact same tactics to improve your sport mode qualifying time every time using a ghost it always makes me so much faster it's just like fine margins that you're looking for towards the maximum that you're trying to achieve you'll never believe how much faster you can go by following a fast ghost and really trying to get that tow rope on and following exactly what they do if you found this video useful in any way then smash that like button 
consider subscribing if you haven't already. If you can hear the rain going down in the background, then let me know in the comments below. Bit wet, mate. On screen right now will be a link to another video which you may find interesting or it might help you get faster in Gran Turismo in any other way. Thank you very much for watching and we'll catch you in the next one.